Okay guys, and while we have, while I'm cooking breakfast, um, I'm gonna upload a separate video for the breakfast. But like I said in my uh, other video, um, a lot of times in the morning when I'm cooking breakfast on Saturday mornings for the girls, I'm cooking a Saturday morning breakfast. If I'm gonna cook something later on Saturday for dinner, I'm prepping that as well. And I'm also prepping Sundays, I'm sorry, prepping Sunday's dinner. Um, as well so that's what i'm doing it's saturday morning um like i said i'm gonna upload that breakfast video make it a separate video cooking breakfast for the girls i'll do that um so as you can see i've got the air fryer going check on that bacon real quick bacon's looking good in the air fryer so um now i'm also working on prepping sunday sunday's dinner uh, i am cooking sunday i'm cooking curry shrimp and i'm also cooking curry cod fish so we've got the cod fish fillets and the shrimp in the sink get ready to get those cleaned up get those seasoned up um so they can you know sit and marinate overnight for sunday morning when i cook so yeah, that's what I'm doing guys. I'll come back and let you see how I got that cod fish and the shrimp all seasoned up, what seasons I'm gonna use. And yeah, I'll be back to let you guys see that. Okay guys, we've got the shrimp in a bowl with all the good seasons on them. Yep, the shrimp with all the seasons. And we've got our cod fish with all the seasons on them. I love codfish. And when Dixie has it on sale all the time. Now let me show you guys the seasons that I used. Um, I used the Oi Bay garlic herb. I love this guys. It's really good. Garlic Bay garlic herb. I never Oi Bay garlic herb. I never really hear much about it on YouTube, but it's what I use. I like it. Um, and I use the Oi Bay with blackened season. I love that. Gotta be Oi Bay. And of course, I'm cooking curry, shrimp curry, um, cod. So, of course, I've got the curry powder. I've got the paprika. <laughs> kind of like arica. <laughs> All right, and we've got the crushed red peppers. And we've got our salt. And I love my parsley flakes. Y'all gonna always see those. I love those. I'm trying to sneak some greens in. I know it ain't really green, green, but you know. Um, and we got the black pepper. I like using the crush, the grinder black pepper and I always spray my meats with the uh, oil mostly with this canola oil uh, to help uh, grab the seasons and the seasons to stick to it so those are all my seasons guys that I used today for our seafood give you guys another shot of the food seasoned up all right sounds like my air fryer is done like I told you guys I'm trying to cook breakfast prep Sunday it's Saturday morning I'm trying to uh, prep Sunday dinner cook Saturday breakfast for the girls and prep Saturday evening dinner so all right guys I'll be back okay guys just wanted to come back real quick and show you our cod fish all seasoned up and I will let that marinate overnight to be ready for Sunday go and let's move over to the shrimp yes 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 we will let that marinate overnight as well and this is gonna be curry shrimp and curry cod fish and once again here are all my seasons guys all my seasons that I used and I just put a little bit of each you know I don't you know, you, you may see the season and it may look like a lot of season, but you gotta season your food. I'm gonna season my food. I'm not gonna have no bland food. That That's just what it is. I'm not gonna have no bland food. My food gonna be good. It's gonna be seasoned well. I don't over season because you already know my children not gonna eat it if it's over season. But I do put enough season on it. And the codfish, uh, the girls don't really like the codfish. Me and my oldest daughter, of course, will eat the codfish. Um, the girls, they like shrimp, but, eh, you know, they ain't crazy. They're not going to eat a whole bunch of shrimp, but they do like shrimp, so. But they love curry. Anything I curry, they like, so. I'm going to do the curry shrimp, curry codfish over white rice. All right, guys, just wanted to come back and let you see how it looked 
all seasoned and ready to marinate overnight. That's what it's looking like. Doesn't that look good, guys? And it's gonna sit, those seasons gonna sit overnight. Marinate. Y'all know I'm gonna, I'm gonna put y'all right in there with the shrimp. Y'all know I'm gonna do it. Look, 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 look. Don't try to bite the shrimp now. It ain't, well, they are cooked shrimp, but they ain't hot. What, whatever. Don't try to eat shrimp. Ooh, wee. All right, guys, I'll be back. Good morning, guys. It is Arika Misha. It is Sunday morning, and I have just started to uh, prepare to cook Sunday dinner. Um, in the beginning of this video, I have included clips of me yesterday, Saturday, prepping the Sunday food. Uh, today, we have um, on the menu, uh, we have, um, I am fixing uh, curry codfish. I am also cooking curry shrimp. And I'm also going to um, cook a uh, grill in the oven. I decided to do a third meat because sometimes you know how kids are. They don't really, um, my, my girls, they like seafood, but they only really like shrimp. So, and sometimes they don't, they don't want to eat shrimp. So I'm just giving, you know, them options. Um, so I have also um, prepped and overnighted, you know, sauteed and seasoned some turkey they love turkey so I found a nice uh, turkey breast at Walmart and I have that all diced and cut up and seasoned that overnight as well with the shrimp and codfish so I'll be doing a little curry on that for them um, that way they still get their curry because they love the curry flavor so uh, that's what's on the menu today and I also have brown rice as you can see I use the Minute Maid brand um, and I also have a white rice also by Minute Maid and as you can see, um, these are ready in 10 minutes, ready in five minutes, quick. You just boil the hot water, add the rice, cover it up for 10 or five or 10 minutes, and voila, it's done. Quick and easy, guys. Um, sometimes I use regular rice, but most of the time, I'm using this quick Minute Maid rice. It tastes great, tastes fine. That way I'm not in the kitchen. Um, it depends on what I'm cooking. Sometimes, you know, I may be in the kitchen for a little while, but most of the time, I really don't like being in the kitchen all day because I'm always in the kitchen every day, pretty much. So, I don't want to be in the kitchen all day, every day. Honestly, I just don't have time for all that. I mean, we, come on, we know, guys. As parents, as, as, as mothers and fathers or, you know, whoever, we don't have all day to be in the kitchen. We just honestly don't. Between work and the girls and, you know, their school, their, their homework and everything. Anyway, so yeah, this is what we got. I got my brown rice and white rice all measured out and ready to go. And I also have my pots ready on the stove for the rice. And as you guys can, can see, pretty much all my cookware is Gotham. It, it is. I love Gotham. Like I told you guys, Gotham is some really good cookware. And this isn't sponsored by Gotham or nothing like that. So, like I said, I've only been doing YouTube for two months. So, ain't no sponsors going on. I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion of things that I use. Um, Gotham Steel, old school company but their um, cookware is excellent so I replaced all my cooking ware with Gotham so Gotham is good it lasts so I've got the pan ready here for the uh, codfish I'm gonna bring out and get that ready to go and some um and I've got the Publix coconut oil I'm gonna use that to get everything all nice and juicy and tasting good and I've got my pot of uh, water here and my other pot of water back there uh, for my rice. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rice in the pots, guys. Get that, get that water boiling and get everything going. And I will be back to let you guys see what's going on. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I just uh, poured my brown rice into the boiling hot water. And I'm just stirring it in. I've already added a little salt uh, to the rice. Uh, actually, I just added it to the boiling water. And I've already cut the stove off. And y'all know, I'm going to pour in my parsley. And yep, y'all see my Disney Princess plastic fork. Don't laugh at it. These are Gotham 
pots, Gotham cookware. You don't want to use metal forks and cookware to scratch it up. You, you don't want to use that. So you got to use plastic. So you know, I just get this little get the little plastic stuff from anywhere. I mean, I got this little plastic set. It was a fork and spoon set. I got it from uh, the Dollar Tree. You guys will probably see that in my haul. One of my uh, previous hauls where I went to um, Dollar Tree and I got this. So we've got that all started in, guys. Alright, and I'm just going to cover it. The brown rice gets covered. We'll move it away from the heat. And that sits for 10 minutes. And I'm going to set my timer. To 10 minutes. And let's start. Got the timer set to 10 minutes. Okay, I'll sit that down there. And as you can see, we've got our water for our white rice boiling back there. Let's go ahead and get that poured in. And once again, guys, I'm using the Minute Maid Quick Rice. Get that cut off. You just pour it in your boiling water. I already added a little salt here, too. You just stir it up. And you know what? You got that heat cut off. And you just cover it up. That's it. And it sits. The white rice is five minutes. So we'll put our oven timer on. Our oven timer on for five minutes. So, and I've got the oven preheating for our curry turkey. All right, so we've got the white rice on. And we've got our brown rice that sits for 10 minutes. Got both of those all set. Those are all ready to go and sit for their time. And as the rice is sitting, um, it's doing what it does. All right, guys, I will be back. Okay, guys, and as you can hear, our timer is going off. Let's shut that up. Thank you very much. And let's check in on our rice. Let's see. We've got the white rice. Let's see. Where is my... Here it is. There's my fork. All right. Let's check on the rice. Yeah. And the only thing you guys got to do... Just lift your rice. Stir it up and lift it. That's it. That's all. And the rice is done in five minutes. Five minutes, guys. You can't beat that. Five minutes. Done. Nice, fluffy rice. Y'all already know. I'm going to zoom in for y'all. And I've already thrown in my uh, wallet was... Uh, cooking. I already threw in my parsley. Nice fluffy white rice. Tastes so good. Done. Let's check on this brown rice. Our uh, brown rice is looking good too. Let's get that stirred up. Look at that. Nice fluffy brown rice. Nice. Let's get a close look at that brown rice. Take you guys in the pot. Put you right in the pot with it. You know I will. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the parsley makes it look so nice and Delicious. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, just stir it around. Stir your rice. Yeah. Yep. 
watch it. Getting a little foggy there, guys. Sorry about that. There you go. Brown rice. Mmm. Looks so good. Yep. And that's our rice, guys. Done. Um, only cut, took 10 minutes for the brown rice and 5 minutes for our white rice. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the meats. Okay guys, we are here with our meats that have been marinating overnight. And this is our codfish. It's been marinating all night. Guys, a good shot of that. Look at that. Zooming in for you guys. Look at that codfish that's been marinating all night. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All those seasons been marinating. Paprika. Uh, you guys will see at the beginning of this video, I will show uh, all my seasons that um, I had seasoned the meat with. Oy bay. Oh boy. All of them. Yes, all of them. That's the codfish. And let me show you guys the shrimp. Let's get our shrimp here. Ooh wee. bay. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. It's the shrimp. Been marinating all night. I'm ready to cook it right now. It looks so good. Look at this turkey. Look at this turkey. My girls love turkey. Look at this. Got it all chopped and diced up. Seasoned. Put a little curry on it for him. Mm. Ooh. Hey, look at that. Turkey gonna be juicy. Gonna be juicy. Yes. Those are our meats, guys. Let's get ready to get them cooked. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to get our, um, and this is my Gotham pan. Like I told you guys, Gotham, Gotham, Gotham. But anyway, so <clears throat> I've got my seasoned turkey here. I showed you guys that already. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we've got it here. I'm going to go ahead and place it in my pan. And I want all my pieces to be flat. I don't want them sitting on top of each other. Everybody all nice and flat. Everybody getting along. Just placing them in the pan nice and flat. And as you can see, they're just like little pieces of turkey that I've diced up. Guys can see that. I'll just cut into little chunks. And it'll grill in the oven just like grilled chicken. But I want to make sure all my pieces are flat. You know, to make sure everything gets cooked properly. nice and flat in my pan oh look at that mm -mm -mm, all those seasons oh that's gonna be good that's gonna be real good yes cannot wait and the turkey's gonna produce its own juice while it's cooking so that'll give us some goodness to pour over our rice I'm just laying it in the pan all flat here, guys. And this is one turkey breast. Butterball turkey breast. And I just cut it into little chunks. Squeeze it all in there going to shrink as it cooks anyway so just putting it in our pan we want our meat all nice and flat
get my hands washed real quick. get this camera picked up for you guys so you guys can get a good look at how I placed it in the pan all nice and flat look at that all season marinated overnight guys you know y'all is going in the pan with the food that's what I gotta do put you in the pan or with the food there you go go and get in go and get in and cook yet y'all can't eat it yet look, look, look at it look at the seasons look at it Ooh, wait until I cook it. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go back in one more time. One more time. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this juicy turkey I am about to cook. Thank you, Jesus. Gotta give you thanks. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, let's get this in the oven. And you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to put... Uh, a couple pieces of butter you know get some butter in there to help create a juice get a nice little curry butter juice you know something to pour over your rice with the turkey so I'm gonna do that hold on a second show you guys how I'm gonna do that let's get you guys back set up to look at that pan mm-hmm there you go get y'all back set up there you go you see the pan perfect okay hold on let me get the butter throw a little butter in there it's gonna throw a little coconut oil in there but i'm not gonna put any coconut oil in there let's see let's put some and all you gotta do is put some lay some chunks of butter in it much butter as you want. You don't got to put that much because it's going to already already produce its own juice. Okay, some butter around. That's going to help, you know, butter the turkey too. Give the turkey some extra flavor too. So, I don't want to put too much. Just laying that around. And my, I can't believe it's not butter. I love this butter. I always cook with this butter. Old school, but you know what? It's good. Like that. Just a couple pieces of butter around. That'll melt. Mixing with the seasons and the flavors and the curry and all of that. Yes. We is ready. Alright. I'll go ahead and get this in the oven for you guys. And next time you see that turkey, yes, it's amazing what you can do with turkey. It doesn't have to be Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that for turkey. My girls love turkey. We love turkey. So, um, like I said, this is a turkey with a turkey breast with a little that I diced up. Got some butter. We got all our paprikas, all our seasoned curry. We got all kind of good stuff on here. So let's go ahead and get this baby in the oven. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to cook our shrimp. And let me go ahead. I'm going to get the stove on. That might help us out a little bit. So. And I got my old faithful Publix coconut oil. Just going to put a little bit in our pan. Just coconut flavored oil, you know, to help get our get everything cooking. Definitely don't want any metal near my pan, so let me get that out of here. Alright, let me see. That's moving around in our pan. 
get that going. I'm gonna put a little bit more coconut oil in there. Get that going. That is plenty. Alright. I'm also going to use the coconut oil for my um, codfish too. But, so you guys can see that. Yes. I'm going to cut my heat up too high. The shrimp are already done. We're just trying to and my stove gets hot fast. Just gonna pour that shrimp in. Let me back up, see, back you guys up so you can see. Yes. And that coconut oil is gonna help it create its, a little juice there. Also gives it coconut flavor. And like I said, these are already pre cooked shrimp. I bought them already cooked, so we ain't got to cook them. We got to cook them again. So, just tossing them around in the oil. Now, some people add coconut milk and all of that, but nah, not doing that. Just gonna, we just sauteing them, grilling them on top of the stove, that's all. In my little square Gotham pan. Tossing them around. And they'll create their own juice. You'll see. And I don't need to season my oil. Because I already seasoned my meat. Marinated it overnight. So I don't have to do all that. Some people do add um, their seasons to their oil. But I've already seasoned the meat. And I let it. You know I've already seasoned the shrimp. You guys saw I marinated it overnight. I've already done all that. I got my little plastic spatula just tossing them around all we doing all we're doing and you know what I'm gonna cut this heat on low because they already cooked so we ain't trying to cook them again yeah tossing the shrimp around look at those shrimps and I hate how shrimp Shrink as you cook them. I hate when shrimp do that. Even if we get large shrimp, they always seem to find some way to shrink. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is all we needed to do. All we needed to do to our shrimp. We're gonna let them sit still. Let them just simmer. They will create their own juice. I think I'm gonna add a little butter. Nah, I'm not gonna add no butter to this. It's gonna create its own juice anyway. Got it on low heat. They'll just simmer in the pan. Pick you guys up so you can get a nice good close look at them shrimp cooking. And like I said, I've got it on a low heat. So they'll just simmer. They'll create their own little juice. Let them just sit and create their own little juice. I'm gonna cut this heat up a little bit. Just probably put it on like four. Give one of them a little taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Oh, got a little kick to it. A little spice. Oh, wee. And see how it's creating its own juice? Creating its own juice anyway what it's gonna do so we'll let that sit 
and I'm gonna cover it. its own juice there you guys will see I'm constantly wiping down cleaning as I am cooking I, I'm one of those clean as I go kind of people yes I am clean as I go so we've got our shrimp creating its own juice I think I might add add a little alfredo pasta sauce Newman's own alfredo pasta sauce I think I may add a little bit to our shrimp I think I'm gonna do that Give it like a little cream sauce and help that curry along. I do this sometimes when I cook shrimp. Help gives it helps the sauce. Help gives it a little juice, a little sauce. It's gonna taste so good with that curry. It's gonna taste so good. When it gets through just kind of toss the shrimp around flip them over with my spatula nothing special toss them around we're gonna let them just sit in that sauce tastes really good guys the alfredo gives it just a just get a little extra flavor to it but it doesn't you know taste like alfredo alfredo because we've got all those other seasons and curry so it's gonna be as you can see like a, a thick curry sauce the alfredo just helps thicken the sauce that's all it's all the alfredo does okay we can give you guys another close look at that now that I've added the uh, little bit of the alfredo and see it's still curry the alfredo sauce turns green like the curry mine's is like a golden green kind of curry curry comes in different colors I've, I've noticed from cooking but I don't have a particular I like the green one I like the yellow looking curry the gold looking curry it don't matter curry to me but yeah, that's how it's looking the sauce, and I'll just let it sit in the sauce and just marinate. That's what I'll do. Give one of these a taste test. Tastes amazing. Huh? We'll leave our shrimp. <clears throat> so good. All right, let's go on and move on to this uh, codfish. I'll be right back with the codfish. Okay, guys, we are back, and I am getting ready to cook our curry codfish. I've already got my uh, Publix coconut oil in same thing I cooked the shrimp in 
just a little coconut oil. I've already put that in my pan. And one thing about my stove, it does not take long to get hot at all. It does not take long to get hot. So, we'll go ahead and get our codfish in. Make sure you guys can see. There you go. All right, let's get our codfish in. And you guys already saw the codfish. Let me give you another look. Ooh, 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 look at all those spices. Yes, yes, sis. Ooh, that codfish. Hmm. Let's get it in the pan. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen me cook. I've posted codfish already on Instagram, so. Go ahead and get the codfish in. Let's get it cooked. Get it done. And that coconut oil. Get my stove fan on there. And we still got that curry turkey in the oven. We got to get that out. I'll get that out in a few. But in the meantime, let's get that codfish. Back you guys up so you can see. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna put y'all in a little closer so y'all can see. I'll bring you guys out so you can see the whole pan. All right. Yes. And I've got that. I'm cooking that on medium heat. You guys have already seen what I seasoned with, so. Hot fish does not take long to sear on top of the stove. And as you can see with that coconut oil, it's already creating its own juice. So I might throw a little Alfredo sauce in this as well. But this looks like it's already not producing enough of its own juice. Let me see if it's ready to be flipped. Eh, not really. Give it a few more minutes on each side. I give it about give it about five minutes. And I've also got some uh, juice left in here, so I'm not gonna pour that in yet. I'll get my fish cooked first. And as you can see, it's producing its own juice. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna let that cook and um i'll add the juice at the end i might add a little alfredo so we can have a little sauce to pour over the fish and our rice we've got white rice we've got brown rice my oldest daughter she's um she would love the brown rice i like the brown rice too i don't mind brown rice but i gotta have something some juices or something to go with that brown rice now i'm not gonna just eat no plain brown rice uh -uh. that brown rice be needing a little help so, looks like it's ready for me to flip over. You gotta be careful with fish. No fish, it breaks easy. So, get that flipped over. Ooh, yes, 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 codfish, yes. Mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. Like that. Mm. Look at that. Ooh, let me bring y'all in real close, real quick. Look at that. Look at that codfish with the curry. Now, mind you, don't forget, I did season it with curry, <clears throat> paprika, all the good seasons. Oy bay. Yes. So that's why it has that color because I did put curry. This is curry cod. So. And see, it's producing its own juice from the coconut oil, the coconut flavor. You know, a lot island flavor. La island flavor, girl. Yes. I love it. Ooh, look at it. 
Y'all know y'all finna go in the pot with the food. I gotta put y'all in the pot. Ooh, ooh. Get out that pot. It's hot in there. Get out of that pot. Okay. Stay on in there. Get your butt burnt. Ooh -wee. Yes. All right. Let's, let's bring y'all back out where it's safe. Bring y'all back out. Okay, let's get y'all back set up here. Let's see if I can zoom y'all in a little bit more in the pan. Yeah. A little bit more. Yeah. Y'all add some. There you go. Alright, there you go. I don't want to burn it. I don't want to burn it. It's gonna take long to cook. We're just gonna flip it back over. Let's cut our heat down. We don't wanna burn it. Yes. Ooh nice and brown. Yes. Nice and brown on that side. Let's cut, cut it down. We're gonna add that juice. We're gonna add that in there. Yes. Add that juice because we need that juice. Yes. Let's scrape up all that goodness at the bottom now. Yes. Take long. About five, five or six minutes to cook codfish. It don't take long. Even these little thick pieces, it don't take long. Yes, and it's creating its own curry juice. Go ahead and cut the stove off. Look at that. Mm. Yes. Cut a little piece off and give it a little taste. Y'all, I be, I be nibbling, I be eating while I'm cooking. Oh yeah. Mm mm mm. Hot, hot. Ooh. Ooh, hot. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Got a little spice, look, get through it. Woo! Gotta have that red pepper on there. Ooh -wee. I am gonna add a little, little Alfredo, just to give us a, help give us a little juice. See how I add that Alfredo, guys? You'll see. A little sauce. Move it around. Get that Alfredo mixed in with the curry, like we did with the shrimp. See, get that all mixed up. And the Alfredo is just gonna curry up. Tastes like the curry. Not gonna be like an Alfredo taste, like you think. And the Alfredo does have its own little flavor that it adds. Don't get don't get me wrong, but it doesn't taste like Alfredo. Alfredo. Just to give your food a little extra flavor. Yes. That. Take my spoon and color, put the put the juices over the fish. Alfredo meets curry. Curry meets Alfredo. Okay. Yes. Delicious. bring y'all in for a close look. Let me finish getting the getting the sauce on it. Ooh. Yes. Got a couple of extra pieces over here. Let me taste those. Mm-mm-mm. That is amazing. 
That is amazing. Let me bring you guys in. Look at it. Mm. It's a codfish with a little bit of that Alfredo sauce. Just a little bit. It doesn't taste like Alfredo. Alfredo has its own little flavor, but it's got the little spicy taste with the curry. That's why you see it's not white like Alfredo. Gives it like a little extra flavor. Gives it extra creaminess, extra smoothness. To sit on top of your rice and just pour some juice over it. Y'all already know. Taking y'all into the pot. Y'all going in. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Let me find a good safe spot for y'all to go in. Right there, right there, right there. Ooh, look. Look at them seasons. Let's see if I can get y'all in there. Real good. Bring the pot up here. Ooh, yes. Mmm. Nice little creamy sauce. Mm-hmm. Yep. Go on in. Go on in the pot. You want to go in? You don't want to listen. Go on in. Go on in. I don't, I don't blame you. I don't, I'm, I'll go in too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes. Ooh. So good. That's our curry cod fish. Oh, Maybe I can have that as my thumbnail. Ooh-wee! I'll be trying to come to my house to eat. All right. Let's get this curry turkey out of the oven. All right, guys. Let's get the turkey out. Let's see what's going on. I'll be back. Okay guys, I just pulled that curry turkey out of the oven and I forgot to tell you before I put it in the oven, I sealed it with aluminum foil real tight, you know, to keep that heat in as it cooks. And let me go ahead and let you guys see this curry turkey. Y'all ain't ready. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Mm, 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Precious Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, for grace to love him more. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. Oh, that food looks so good, make you want to sing to the Lord. Yes. Yes, look at it. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him. Ooh, don't give me the singing. Look, look, look at it. Ooh, wee. Mm -mm -mm, my greedy self. I love to eat. But I love the Lord more. Look at that, look at that. Y'all already know y'all finna go in this pan with the food. Look. Oh, look at them juices. Don't go swimming in them juices. Oh, oh, oh. Let me get y'all cleared off. Hold on, hold on. Don't go swimming. Don't go swimming. Back up, back up, back up. Please don't go swimming in that water. That water hot. Don't go swimming in there. Ooh-wee. Look at that. Curry turkey all season. Didn't I tell you don't go? Ooh-wee. I'm putting y'all in the pan. I don't care. Look at that curry turkey. Look at all them seasons on it. And the juice. The juices and the juices. Make you want to sing to the Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, Jesus, Jesus. How I trust him. Mm, mm, mm. I love that song. That's an old church hymn right there, boy. But it's going to be true forever and ever. Jesus, Jesus. How I trust him. Ooh. Mm. Sing to y'all for a minute while we look at this turkey. Whew. Mm, 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 mm. Ain't gonna sing to y'all no more. Tell you, look so good, make me wanna just sing. All right, y'all. Let me get all the food together and I'll come back. I'll come back 
going to take it all the food together, get everything laid out so y'all can see everything for Sunday dinner. Sunday's best. That's my Kirk Franklin boy. Sunday best. All right, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys. We are back, and I have everything laid out on the table. And as you can see, I don't like my food sitting in the pot. So after I get through cooking um, and the food cools down, I transfer them to Tupperware or bowls or uh, put away, you know, storages, whatever it is I store my food in, um, I go ahead and put the food in those containers. So that way I can go ahead and get the kitchen all cleaned up and washed, everything all washed. And let's go back over what we have. We've got our white rice. Love my parsley. Get used to it because that's what I do. And we've got that cur curry cod fish. We've got that turkey, lightly curried. A curry turkey. Let's see if I can give you guys a good picture of that. And we have the curry shrimp. And we have the brown rice. Hmm. And you guys, I have already taken my pictures for Instagram. Don't forget to go follow me at Arika Misha, same as my YouTube name, on Instagram. Um, I'm sure I'll post the Instagram picture before I even upload this video. So you guys got to follow me on Instagram so you guys can be ahead of the game. Sometimes I post things first on Instagram before I upload my YouTube videos. And sometimes you see things first on YouTube and got to go over my Instagram and see other things. I like to keep it interesting on both sides. So, yeah, this is Sunday dinner. Brown rice. White rice. Curry turkey curry cod fish and curry shrimp that is sunday dinner guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye